There are about 10,000 cheetahs that remain in the wild today, and the majority of them are found in Namibia, Africa. But that number is quickly decreasing. Like a lot of animals, the biggest challenge they face is habitat loss. There are a lot of people in the world, and as people expand, there is less space for animals, and cheetahs are a predator. They eat meat, and given the opportunity, sometimes they'll go after livestock like goats and sheep, and people who live near cheetahs don't like that because the animals are their livelihood. So they will trap the cheetahs, kill the cheetahs to protect their animals, which is understandable, but it's a challenge we have to overcome because cheetahs and people need to be able to share space if cheetahs are gonna to continue to survive in Africa. So with the goal in mind of empowering people to learn more about these amazing animals and the challenges they face, the Indianapolis Zoo opened Cheetahs Race for Survival in 2010. One of the things we really wanted to do with the cheetah exhibit when we opened it was to find a way for visitors to contribute directly to cheetah conservation. We came up with this idea of racing a cheetah because cheetahs are known for their speed. They can accelerate from zero to 70 miles an hour in three seconds. That's better than a sports car. So they're the sports cars of the animal world. We have a race of cheetah feature in the plains biome where runners can, for 50 cents, they can race some timed lights that go as fast as a cheetah would be running. And so you basically have to run as fast as you can and see how fast you can go and how far you can go before the cheetah passes you. The net proceeds from the Indianapolis Zoo's Race of Cheetah go directly to a conservation organization called the Cheetah Conservation Fund in Namibia. They actually do research. They help um, reintroduce orphan cheetahs into the wild, and they also sponsor a livestock guardian dog program with Anatolian shepherds or Kangal shepherds that they use. They'll actually give them to farmers in pairs and as a way of non-lethal predator management. They work with local farmers and ranchers and try to help them understand that there is a way for them to coexist with cheetahs and share space, and they don't have to view the cheetahs as a direct threat to their livestock. Race a cheetah has become a favorite of many guests, and with the proceeds that were raised just in the opening season alone, the Indianapolis Zoo not only met, but exceeded expectations. We are so excited this first season. Our racers raised $11,000 for cheetah conservation. That was a huge success for us, and it's something that we couldn't have done without the people actually coming out and racing. So we hope that this year we'll have a lot more racers and we'll raise even more money and that can all go to Cheetah Conservation Fund to help protect wild cheetahs. You can be a conservation hero too. Come race a cheetah at the Indianapolis Zoo.